Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is June 11th. Um, yeah, I'm just doing an extra bonus lead code problem that I haven't done before. Uh, and today, uh, let's just do a hard one. Or not a hard one. Uh, well, let's not do an easy one. Let's do this hard one. Because um, it's a little bit earlier on. Today's problem is 3009, maximum number of intersections on a chart. There's a line chart consisting of endpoints connected to by line segments. Uh, you are given one indexed integer away y and the k point as coordinate k, y sub k. All right. I don't know why you don't, I mean, why, why, why not use i? Why, 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 how, what? why k? Sometimes people just try to be different for some reason. Anyway, uh, no two consecutive points have the same y coordinate. No two, con okay, yeah, so that means that there's not a flat line or... Whatever, yeah. You can draw an infinity long horizontal line when turning the maximum number of points of intersection of the line with the chart. Okay, so you can have this, you can have this. Um, I mean, this seems like a sliding window, uh, not sliding window, but just like a sweep line uh, problem. And here in the constraints, they use I instead of K because people use I. I don't know why this is a K thing. All right, maybe I'm just a little bit annoyed for no reason. Uh, I did end up uh, grabbing lunch before this uh, and after the previous video so um, so I'm a little bit more more aware hopefully um, but yeah so this is basically a sweep line algorithm uh, just that it sweeps well down to up or up to down as in you know uh, yeah so here we can see that these are the y co uh, coordinates 1 to 2 to 1 to 2 so you got 5 because it could be 1.5 um, there are a couple of things you can do right Um, yeah, I mean, I would also say that, I mean, I think the, the one part that could be, could be, uh, could require a little bit of care is this, um, is the degenerate points, right? Degenerate points being the points that are on the line, like here. On the line y is equal to two, it's in four points, right? Even because it's right on the point. So there are a couple of things that you have to be careful about. But at the end of the day, it's not that bad. Y is equal to ten to the nine, but there's only ten to the fifth uh, number of values. So the first thing that we're going to do is we want to uh, that I'm going to do. I mean, it might. I think in a pure sweep line, you don't have to do it, but it depends on. How. I feel like there are a, a couple of ways that you can be sloppy with this, um, for sure, right? So, um, but, um, yeah, I mean, you can normalize it and then do the um, array thing. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Even though, yeah, uh, I think I've been doing the, because you can also do it with the other thing, with the defense sorting. Um, I actually, no, no, let's just do events because I feel like I've been weak on, I've been kind of bad about it lately. So I, w I, I want to use the practice because I think that's the way I'm more confident about. And here you do not need to re-normalize uh, the numbers, though that might be interesting. So, okay. So then now here you just have to think about line segments and line intersections, right? That is actually pretty, you know, straightforward. Um, the, the, you know, the visualization is a little bit different, but if you kind of just flatten it, you, you can see that it is just, um, let me draw it out real quick, right? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I mean, this is just, the, uh, nope, not that one. Uh, um, this is just the same idea as, say, um, if you kind of flatten the, the slope, which doesn't matter for this one, you know, you have a, a line thing, uh, and this is the y-axis according to their axis. And then you just have like, you know, you have line segments that goes, well, technically, they actually meet exactly at the thing. Uh, and then sometimes they could go backwards because it just goes down or whatever, as long as it's not a flat thing, right? So you have stuff like this. And then now you, um, you're trying to find the point in which as the maximum intersection. And that's it. And this is a problem that, uh appeared on lead code many times before in some various way so that's why i'm a little bit um yeah i'm just a little bit lazy is what i was trying to say not that i was 
anything about it. Um, so yeah, so the thing that I'm going to do is just put it in defense, right? And then you have four... Um, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? I was trying to figure out, like, the two... The, well, the, for a line segment, um, the two things, right? The starting point and the end point. I was like, oh, why, why, why can't I figure out? But it actually is just... You know why and yeah just all just uh adjacent elements right and then now events start append we can say the beginning uh y1 is the beginning so one and then events append uh we want to leave y2 maybe i think the tricky thing is how to figure out how to uh be careful about it right <sighs> i mean i think that that's the tricky thing with this particular um thing is that is that the degenerate points right and what i mean again is here so you do have to handle them a little bit differently did i change back to view oh uh, yeah but uh, let's say i have this right so um so this is the case where in this case we have to figure out how to handle it so that this point of uh, well Assuming that they intersect, oh man, I cannot draw straight lines. Okay, say here, this is this only counts as one line intersection because it is at a degenerate point. So this is the thing that we have to consider and actually handle. Um, but I think it should be okay as long as, As long as, I mean, the thing that we would be able to handle is just do something like this, right? Oops. Uh, just something like this. But, yeah, and I think that should be good. Because then now it gets, um, it opens on the left side. But you just have to make sure that you open on the, um, yeah. Yeah. A little bit awkward but basically for the first line you want to be inclusive on both sides and then after that you could just be open on one side right on the on the left side so i think that's probably the thing that you have to be careful about um so then here maybe we start from the foot what did i had yeah right and then maybe you fence start a pen uh why you know Zero one, uh, someone like this, um, even though it is very awkward for sure, right? <sighs> and then one thing that I'm trying to think is if they intersect, um, because this goes backwards, right? We have to figure out, uh, yeah, what to handle first, the negative ones or the ones? And the way that I would like to f think about it is just visualizing it, right? So you do, 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 do. If you go back and forth, if you have a lot of line segments. Um, and this isn't quite right yet. I, I think I'm messed up here, um, just to be sure, just to be clear. Uh, so this is what... I mean, or, or this is approximately right, but it's not quite right. But I have to fix that in a second, unless I forget about it, which I do from time to time. But I have to f figure out the hand off by one first. Uh, huh. I do think I want to... Uh, I think the way to think about it, I mean, I, I, maybe I'm having trouble visualizing it. So I think the way that I want to think about it is just... Um, yeah, just visualizing it by looking at it, right? So let's took, print this and then, I don't know. Sometimes I can't fit in my head, I need to visualize it, right? So I have all these things, you start at one. Uh, uh, this is a little bit, well, uh, this is, I have to fix the other thing.
I think this is why is that we assume y1 is the beginning and y2 is the end, which is technically true, but it can go to the other direction, right? So we actually need to do something like um, uh, min is equal to, or min max is equal to uh, min of y1. But it's not even, uh, because basically we want to leave the starting point open but that starting point may be on the right side, on the max side. So then the open would be actually minus one so that we don't double count it, right? So it's a little, uh, it is very annoying. <laughs> um, I mean, doable, but annoying, right? So yeah, eh, we can write it this way, it's fine. Right, and then if y1 is equal to min, then we want min increment by one, else max subtract by one, and then we can just do uh, yeah, min max. Oops. And then we sort, and then we'll take a look at the visualization again. So yeah, so this goes to the negative first, which is very awkward. Also, is it correct? I don't think so. Uh, uh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this isn't giving me what I really want. Right. Now yeah, maybe it does, but we just need to uh, care about the plus one first. Is what it seems like. But yeah, all right. X sub zero is fine, and then negative x sub one, right? So then now we can do something like um, the current is going to be the cur cur current prefix and then for event, the type in event, we just do current do, 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 and then we have best is equal to zero and then just best is equal to max best of current and that should be good. Maybe. <laughs> oh, hmm. We expected five. Oh, we do expect five. Wait, I thought I. S hmm. Let me think about this. Maybe the way that I'm writing is awkward. So it goes three. Yeah, it starts three things. But then it. Negative one means uh, I think this thing is a little bit funky. Why do I have negative ones at on one? Should be one. Two. Yeah, I don't. Actually, I don't know why I have negative one on one. That's that's why. Huh. I guess I have to fix this part too because I we didn't do the min max thing here, but we'll have to fix that later. Um. Huh. All right. Let's not sort for now and then see. Right, so one goes to two, one goes to one. Oh, because of this minus one thing. This one goes to two, one goes to one. Instead of 
It should be two going to one. Which is one going to two. But because we don't want to double count on the two, we stop at one. But because we stop at one, we don't um, get the stuff that's middle between one and two. I actually thought about this before, but I thought that I might not need to run into it. But the way to do it is actually to double up. Um, because everything is integer. Um, if we double up, then we get the gaps before it. So here, uh, maybe we can do uh, yeah something like this. So then now we don't have to worry about the things because then now we're in between things, right? Okay. Oh yeah, and then the, mm, wait, maybe not. I was gonna say, and then now it should be good, but uh, uh well, I don't know. If it's good still, to be honest, but. But yeah, uh, okay, why is this giving me a one? So you have two to three. Oh, 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 I, I knew that because this is the, this thing. This is what I was saying. Um, eh, this is so annoying. Uh, actually, I guess this is easier because we don't have to do the, uh, because this is both. Um, this is coast on both, right? So we don't have to. What am I doing? We don't have to do the uh, plus one thing. Yeah. Alright, am I confident about this? To be honest, not super, but let's give it YOLO. Um, yeah. Definitely a very tricky problem to think about, but I think once you dissect uh, all the cases, it's not so bad. It's not super bad. Um... I think the idea is just to represent this problem as precisely as you can, and that should be good. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's just a line segment problems with like edge cases on the degenerate case, and also the idea that you can go back on line segments so they give you weird things. Um, there are a couple of ways you can handle this. Like I said, the way that I'm doing it is just by doubling the coordinates so that you create. Um, you know, spaces in between so that the line segments don't intersect. So the way that you can visualize this is that if we have something like this, um, to handle, uh, say, this case, instead of drawing the lines like, you know, right here, we will just draw the line so that it leaves a small gap at, at the beginning, right? So that it doesn't technically all intersect. So that's basically what the plus one do. You can also think about it as maybe plus 0 0.5, but, be, so, but we doubled everything so that we can use int, so that the small gap, as long as it's not exact, it should be good. Um, yeah, so that's really the idea. Everything else is very um, standard, I believe, uh, line sweep things. Um, yeah. That's all I have for this one. Oh. I don't think you. I don't. Maybe this doesn't even need it anymore because now I'm curious. No, I guess you still need. You still need it for the first thing. I think that's why. But um. Oh well. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, just to go over this, this is gonna be n log n, just because it's sorting. And, and of n space because of the defense and you could just maybe even double it up but yeah that's all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye